Hello everyone, this is Granny Llama at the Angel Connection with AskYourAngels777.com. The purpose of this station, of this channel, is to allow people to uh, send in their experiences and I will have them read on the air um, so they can tell everyone else about their wonderful experiences. Um, a little about me and why I'm doing this channel. I've been inspired over and over and over to do this channel by my angels. And so I finally said I better get off the stick and do it. How did I first meet my angels? Uh, when I was four years old, I had an operation to have my adenoids removed. And during this operation, no sooner did they knock me out than I was in the corner of the room watching myself and watching the operation happen. And very shortly thereafter, uh, my guardian angel showed up and I immediately recognized her as my best friend and I, someone I loved tremendously. And we watched the operation for a few minutes and then she said, well, let's go play. So we went around the hospital and we checked out everything. I saw many, many spirits sitting there waiting. And she told me they're just waiting for their loved ones. I even saw a couple of bad spirits. And she told me, she said, they're bad spirits. Stay away from them. And then we even went to uh, visit another little girl that was staying in the room next to me. And we actually, she saw us and we played with her. We also did a few little mischievous things with the nurses there, such as rattling their their trays and pulling their uniforms. We thought this was just so funny. Well, after a little bit, she said, come on, we've got to go back. And so we went back and then before I knew it, I was back in my body and I woke up. Well, I was only four, four and a half at this time. This still is one of the most vivid memories of my life. And I am now 62 years old. And from that day forward, I knew many things. I knew angels were real. Jesus was real, God is real, and bad spirits are real. I never had any doubts in my whole life, and I think that was a big, big, big blessing to me, that I never doubted, is there a God, is there a Jesus? I always knew, and at that time, I was too young to know anything about angels, and I even remember trying to tell my mother that I had played with my angel, and she just kind of looked at me like I was crazy and said oh Helen those are just your that's just an imaginary friend well anyway as time has gone on I've had a very blessed life and many th times in my life the angels have stepped in the, to help me and I, I was not raised religious I am not a theologian I've read the Bible I've read the Quran I've read the Book of Mormon and but I'm not, I can't quote the Bible to you. I don't go to church regularly, even though I have very, very strong faith. And it has been strong since I was four years old. Even as a young person, I remember people questioning, is God real? And I'm like, is Jesus real? And I was like, what do you mean? Of course he's real. I thought everyone had the experience I had because I was a child. Now, years later, I have been... I've had many, many encounters and many experiences. And as this has happened, I've been inspired to share this with the world. And I want the world to share their experiences back with me. So if you would like for me to read, this is episode one. If you would like for me to read your story online, I will keep them anonymous if you say so. Please send your emails to askyourangels777 at gmail.com. And I will answer them, and I will read these on air. Also, it's a great comfort to people to know they're never alone. You know, so many, this is such a dysfunctional society we're in now. And there's so many people just lonely. Very, very lonely. They're always, you know, I have no one. I have nothing. I'm so lonely. And the comfort of knowing you have your angel with you and that you can ask for help and the angel will help you. I mean, not with things such as, can I win the lottery? But um, there's some instances in my life which are gonna be in future episodes that you will see exactly how they can help you. 
And just always believe, always, even if you don't believe, talk to your angels. Ask your angels, hey, what you doing? Can you help me? I can't find a job. Can you help me? I'm, I'm feeling very lonesome and sad. Can you help me? You know, and you will be shocked and amazed at how fast your request will be answered. Um, again, this is Granny Llama. I run a llama ranch. It's uh, a llama ranch. All proceeds from this channel, whatever they may be, will go to the llama ranch and supporting the llamas. Um, it's bblamaranch.com um, or askyourangels777.com. Or I also have a Patreon uh, account, which is Ask Your Angel 777. I also can take, uh, if you would like to send me a PayPal donation, it's hcwhome at msn.com. Or Ask Your Angel 777 at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And please send me your stories. People want to hear this. They don't want to think, oh, I'm crazy. They want to hear what other people have seen, what other people have done. And I really hope that I can touch somebody's heart, touch somebody's life, and make their day maybe just a little bit better in this world. Because it is a tough world, and we all need a helping hand. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you.